Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of robertoblake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can make passive income with your art, your design, your photography, or even your video content. Some of you may not understand what passive income is. It's revenue that you make even when you're not actively doing work, meaning that if you were to write a book and you were getting royalties from that every quarter, you wrote that book two years ago, you're still making money from it. You made a YouTube video a year ago, you might still be making ad revenue from it, and that's a form of passive income. So we're gonna talk about how, as artists, creative professionals, people who might be doing music, people who might be doing artwork, photography, videos, how you can monetize that and make passive income outside of the traditional platforms of, say, YouTube and Google AdSense. I'm gonna talk about some fundamentals regarding this and things to keep in mind, but also I'm gonna talk about a platform that you can use to specifically monetize your work as a creative person, and it's called Fleeby. Fleeby actually partnered with me and is sponsoring today's video so that I can help educate you guys on making passive income as artists and creatives because, let's face it, it's something that is devalued somewhat in the marketplace and in the world by people who don't understand it. So maybe this will help some of you guys actually earn some extra money that will help you with whatever you're trying to accomplish. Something to keep in mind with passive income is it's not going to instantaneously mean you can quit your day job. It's gonna require hard work. In a lot of cases, the great thing is you already have a body of work that you developed and that you put a lot of effort behind that you might not be taking full advantage of. A primary example would be that like with Fleebie, I can actually start uploading videos that I've already put out here on YouTube that are still valuable to people and I would have another way to monetize them. Or any artwork or photography that I still have all the rights to that wasn't for a client, I could post it here and I would have a way to make revenue off of it and I don't even have to sell anything. It's not like sites like DeviantArt per se, where I have to sell the prints or I have to sell the downloads, even though there are options for things like that as far as if you do wanna sell something, then guess what? Here, you can make passive income, you can earn revenue from content you already have, whether it's music, whether it's photography, whether it's video, whether it's your design work, whether it's your drawings, you can actually make revenue and monetize this very similarly to how you would with Google AdSense or with YouTube videos, and it's a very convenient platform. The only thing, and I have to stress this, is that you have to own all of the rights to your content. I cannot stress that enough. That is how you're going to make money here. That's how you're not gonna lose your account. That's how you're not gonna get in any trouble. And so just make sure that everything you're uploading, you own the rights to it, and it's original. It can't be something that is using other people's copyright content or material. So I would avoid things like, you know, if you have anything that has photography or artwork from somebody else, I would avoid that. If you have music or video that belongs to someone else, I would avoid those things. It has to be your own original content that you personally made. It is a fully developed functional marketplace and you know you can definitely use this without a lot of tech savvy behind you. So if you're a creative professional, it's not like having to learn something very complicated. This is pretty straightforward. Once you have that stuff uploaded, you have to enable and apply for the ability to monetize. Once you're approved from that, you're ready to actually start making passive income and that is a way that you can start making money. So let's talk about some practical measures here of making passive income from your artwork. I would say that something you could do that would probably be really smart is if you want to make a lot of money in passive income, you have to get something that has the maximum value and upside for someone else. And something that's really easy if you're a photographer is I would say go take a few bucks and go buy stuff from like the dollar store and take photos against a white background and make free stock photography around that and then put it up here, allow people to download it and make a lot of money off the ad revenue and drive traffic to it with articles and free posts and say like, you know, 50 free stock images. People love that stuff and this is a great way for you to get that traffic and monetize off of ad revenue and so I would highly encourage you to do that. This is a great opportunity. So that's something photographers can do. For artists and graphic designers, I would say make something that you're comfortable giving away that you don't feel like it took you forever in a day. Make things like icon packs, make things like generic characters, and allow people to go ahead and download them and to use them and either have a Creative Commons license or to allow them to use it completely royalty free if you want even more traffic. I would say that that's important. And if you're doing video content here on YouTube and it's all original, obviously, you can go ahead and upload that and make money pretty much the same way you do in YouTube. 
if you already have a lot of great photos in Instagram that aren't really doing anything for you, you can bring them over here into Fleabee and you can actually start using them to turn and generate a profit, get some more interest in your brand. So again, these things are a tremendous opportunity. You have so much that you're leaving on the table by not monetizing them and making passive income. It could literally be as simple as making some really cool music or beats in GarageBand and deciding to upload them here. And if people enjoy it or if people find value in it or if people want to use it for something, then great, you have this opportunity. Obviously, this isn't the only way that you can monetize your artwork and your creative talents, but it is a really convenient and easy one to use, and that's why I decided to work with Fleabee on this and bring some awareness to this platform. This is something that I want to take more advantage of in the future because I've already got a staggering inventory of content and things I can monetize, so if I can make a few extra bucks, why not? If I can get more search engine exposure, if I can get more people in front of the value, the content that I've created, the work that I've done, I would absolutely you know, be making a mistake and leaving an opportunity on the table if I didn't put my stuff out there in as many places as I can, especially a place that is letting me make money off of it. So anyway, I am really curious, how many of you are actually using your artwork, your photography, your creative stuff, and really making any money off of it, whether it's passive income or whether you're selling it to clients. I wanna know if you're doing either of those things or both in the comment section. Let me know. If you have questions about Fleabee or about how to make passive income as a creative pro, then definitely leave me those questions in the comment section too. I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. Remember, there's a link to Fleabee in the description below, so make sure you're checking that out. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching, and don't forget, create something awesome today.